Hey there friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie and you're watching AKA Mommy. And today I wanted to talk to you about homeschooling and more specifically how we can access free curriculum or free homeschool helpers that are available to us on the internet. So as most of you know, I am a homeschooling mom. I have four children and we are in our seventh year homeschooling. So I am not new to the homeschooling game, but anytime I come across a new tool or a new resource that I personally find to be really helpful, I enjoy passing that information along to you guys. So. I personally believe that each person has a specific method or modality that they learn best in. Some people are visual learners, some people are auditory learners, some people prefer to do things um, hands-on, they prefer the um, kinesthetic type of learning where you're actually, move movement is involved. It just everyone has a different way that they can process information the best and a way that is going to help them to retain information the best. So I personally know that my son is more of a visual learner than he is auditory or even kinesthetic. So what we have been doing this year is incorporating some free resources that we have found on the internet in order to help him with his science and sort of his his history classes. So I wanted to share with you today several free resources that you can use um, in your own in your own homeschool. And most of these are found on Netflix. Now, if you don't have Netflix already, then I will just go ahead and put out there and say that it is a subscription that you um, are charged for monthly. I think we pay something like $13 um, a month to have Netflix, but I believe there's also a subscription where you can pay eight or $9. So technically speaking, these aren't 100% free, but, they're pretty close to it and I know most families already have Netflix and you just may not be aware that some of these resources are available. So I'm going to share with you a few of the shows that we have been incorporating into our homeschool for my son. So the majority of the shows that he watches are science related. He is taking science through our local homeschool co-op and so he doesn't do a lot of science here at home during the week but two days a week he does science and two days a week he does history here at home. On those two days that he does science, generally what he is doing is watching a documentary type of episode on Netflix and then we will talk about what he has watched. So let me just go ahead and share with you a few of the shows that we have been utilizing. The first one, did you guys know that Bill Nye the Science Guy is actually on Netflix? It totally is. It's not my son's favorite, which is kind of to be expected considering it's kind of an older show. It looks really dated, but the information is still good. The information is still solid. It is still educational and I would highly recommend it. So you guys make sure that you check out Bill Nye. Another show that we really use a lot is Brain Games. Now, I have to be honest, this is my son's favorite show. He watches this one even when he's not doing science for school. He just loves watching it. That's the type of um, show that is going to interest him the most. He loves trivia and he loves just learning things like how the, how the mind works. And so Brain Games has been one of his favorites. Another that we have been using, and this one actually I guess could be a little bit history, a little bit science, is the Who Was show. If you're not familiar with the Who Was book series or the What Was book series, they've basically made a show specifically geared towards young people that talks about different people in history. So I know one of the first ones that my son watched was Who Was Amelia Earhart and Isaac Newton. And he basically just got to learn about these different characters in history. It has helped him so much and I really like that he's watching it. It's very entertaining while still being really educational and he's learning about characters and people from history that he may not have come into contact with for quite some time if we were just using our regular curriculum. Another one that we use quite a bit is Planet Earth. Now I will say 
Planet Earth, I'm using that one as kind of an example, but there are so many different episodes. You have Frozen Planet, you have Blue Planet, you have, um, I can't even think of all of them. There are so many different shows that are specifically about the creatures on the earth and the different habitats on the earth and just so many things to choose from. There are also shows that are specifically geared toward different countries. So there is one called Africa. I remember seeing um, a show called South Pacific. You know, so there are so many different options available out there. And the shows usually only take about 20 to 30 minutes. And yet the kids love them because they're so well filmed. And the document, the documentation is just, it is spot on. It's really, really entertaining as well as educational. And that really is what keeps my son coming back to them time and time again. It's what keeps him interested. And I personally believe that kids are going to retain more information if the information is presented to them in a way that is also entertaining. Now, a couple of shows that we use for my younger child, she is four years old and she is in pre-K, um, but we still really like to show her educational shows as well. She has been loving the Magic School Bus and even the Magic School Bus Rides Again. Both of those are separate shows available on Netflix and she loves Super Y. Now Super Y has been out for quite some time but it is still a hit with the kids. So those are a couple that we use with her. Um, the Magic School Bus really is more sciency, and Super Y is definitely more um, language arts, grammar, spelling, learning about words and reading type of thing. But she is enjoying both of those. What I would recommend that you do if you already have Netflix is just go on to your Netflix subscription and in the search bar, just type the word science. You will be astounded at how many different options will pop up. And if any of these look like something that would be interesting to you or your child, just start adding them into a separate profile that maybe says education or homeschool or learning. And then your kids can, you know, come to you when they come to you and they say, hey, can I watch TV? Say, sure, you can pull up Netflix and you can go to this profile that says learning. The kids actually will enjoy learning because all of this information is presented in such a fascinating way. So one more resource that I wanted to throw in here is actually one that I have been using for myself. I am taking biology, uh, AMP, which is anatomy and physiology, and it is not easy. Let me just tell you, some of these concepts can be a little bit difficult to really grasp. I am a visual learner as well. I can learn from reading the book, but if I can see um, a you know, a video or something, it really helps it to sink in for me. So I have a free resource, this one is totally free, that you can use for yourself or maybe if you have an older student who is in homeschool and the site or the channel is called Crash Course. I will leave a link for their um, channel down below this video for you guys, but they cover so many different topics and it is just astounding to me the way that they cover these. I totally just get it. They have a way of explaining scientific concepts that makes it really easy for me to understand and remember. This channel has been an absolute lifesaver for me so far and I can predict that I will be turning to their channel many times in the future when I just feel stumped. Usually what I do in my own studies is I will read the information in the book, in the chapter, I will read over the um, professor's notes and then I will go and watch the video. And usually once I've done all those other steps, watching the video just kind of solidifies the information in my mind. So that's been a really helpful one to me and I wanted to throw it out there for you guys as well. So friends, that is gonna be everything for this video. I know I promised that I would share some of our favorite free online resources with you guys a few weeks ago. And so I wanted to make sure that I deliver on that promise. If you have other resources that you yourself use in your homeschool and you would like to share them with us, please leave them down in the comment section below this video. We would love to hear about them because 
I know as homeschool mamas, we need all the help we can get. And so I hope that this has been helpful to you guys. I hope that you will stay tuned for future videos. And until next time, I hope that you are all doing really well and that you're living your best life. Bye guys.